Texas, we're ambiguous. Question our legality, we have fun with this. Lognosis, welcome to Lognosis. I don't even. If you've seen my dumpster diving video, you know that money can be made from thin air. So the other type of everyday alchemy that you can practice is called thrifting. And just like the dumpster videos, these have a lot of interest here on YouTube. After all, everybody wants something for nothing, right? Well, almost nothing. You have to use your time, and it's spent in mostly hot stores that smell like stale farts and dirty diapers, if you're lucky, and wager your hard-earned cash that an item will sell for more once you own it. No refunds, and a lot of times no exchanges either. So yes, there is a risk, but I've learned there's a risk in simply being alive, drinking a can of Pepsi. Check that video out, that's pretty sad. Um, I still haven't heard back from Pepsi. Pepsi, are you listening? Unlike dumpster diving, thrifting is a genuine money income generator. It is hit or miss though. You might have to go for months at a time and there's nothing that will make you money flipping on eBay. However, you can still find things to buy that will save your family money uh, instead of purchasing new items. So if you have an alternate source of income, you can still save money by thrifting, so it's not a total loss. Then there are other days when you just hit the gold mine, like you'll see today. Situated along miles of scenic Pacific Ocean coastline, Oxnard has an industrious history. In 1896, local farmers began experimenting with sugar beets. Henry T. Oxnard and his three brothers constructed a massive sugar beet factory in 1898, located on land which would today become the city of Oxnard. The city is in a great location cooled by the fresh ocean air, with white sandy beaches along its coast, and the Channel Islands National Park just 11 miles offshore. But we're not going to the beach today. This goes out to all my east side affiliates, COCA baby. We like and then loading, like and then loading, we like and then loading, like and then loading, like and then loading. That homeless guy is big pimping. Our first stop is the Ventura County Rescue Mission Bargain Center. Is that a payphone? Let's reach out and touch some. Thrifting is good for everyone involved. The people who donate get to declutter their homes and enjoy tax deductions. The stores raise money to help worthy causes. Well, at least the ethical ones do. I'm not naming any names. And the shoppers get merchandise at pennies on the dollar. When thrifting, you really have to keep your eyes open. I almost walked right past this little vein of gold. 
Video games, if they're PlayStation, Wii, or Xbox, generally do fairly well. But look each title up, I know it's time consuming, on eBay before you buy it, because there are some big losers out there. Thrift Race.
Alright. No videotaping? No, Alright. Wow. Not only was that a lot of fun, but I made a ton of money. If you're thinking about thrifting, I say go for it. The only thing you can lose is some of your time. Well, actually, you might lose a lot of money buying things for yourself, not to resell. Uh, I think I'm going to end up keeping this guy for myself and this other painting here. Um, I think I'm going to end up keeping this guy because he works and you power him on. You can put in commands, as I found out, and uh, put something back here and have him like deliver it. And then the other thing I think I'm going to keep... It might also be a hint on a future episode. Just saying. All right, so thank you for watching. And please, please, please subscribe. It's free and you get notifications up at the top of YouTube um, when I release a new video. So you don't miss out. And feel free to comment, but comment to feel free.